Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how to use URL for inside of templates. So I'm working with Flask, of course, and I'm using the Jinja template engine in Flask to uh, render my pages. So what I have set up so far is just this template with no actual dynamic parts to it. It's just pure HTML. And then I have this bare bone Flask app set up. And it just says, hello world here. So what I want to do is add a route and then add a link to that route inside of the template. So I'll call this route page and then I'll give the function the same name and I'll simply return on page. And now I want to add the link. So I won't put the URL for a moment. I'll call this page. So to get the URL for this, I don't want to hard code it. So I don't want to type in the address of this page that I'm trying to get to. I want the template engine to figure it out for me. So to do that, I need to use URL for it. So to start, I need the two curly brackets. This signifies that whatever follows is Python code and it should be executed as Python code. And then I'll have the closing brackets there as well. So inside of the brackets, I need URL for, and the URL that I'm going to be using is page. So let me save that and refresh the page. And when I click on it, it takes me to the page route. So that's pretty simple. Well, what if I wanted to do something a little more complicated? Say add a dynamic element to this. So I'll say string user can be passed along with page. And I'll say user is going to be whatever the value of user is. So I have that. Well, now I need to specify a user. So what you don't want to do is something like this. So I have a URL for page and then I want to extend it. So I'll do this. So I should get the uh, URL. So it'd be localhost 127.0.0.1 slash page slash Anthony. So let's see what happens. Well, it breaks. Well, what's the problem here? The problem is page requires an argument user. And I did not pass that in the template. So to pass that in the template, I simply use URL for the first argument will be the uh, route function that I'm using. And the second can be whatever arguments need to pass to that route function. So in this case, user Anthony. So because I have that, I can get rid of this. So now when I save it and run it, the page renders properly. And then the link, click it, and it tells me that user is Anthony. So I just want to make this video because um, I figure there's a little bit of confusion on how to use URL for inside of templates because it's not, it's even though it's exactly the same as using it uh, in your Python Flask code here, uh, it can be a little confusing because a template is different than this. Like it's different than writing inside of functions or um, inside of uh, view functions. So I hope that helped you understand it if you didn't understand before. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below and I can answer them. If you have any requests for videos, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can make a video to clarify something for you. And finally, if you like this video, just hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. And that's it. So thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you tomorrow in the next video.